Hey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Shrekiverse. So, I would recommend uh, grabbing a little drinky drink, <clears throat> grabbing a snack, a blanket, um, and whatever. The stream is going to be long tonight. I usually don't stream on Saturday nights, but here I am. Here I am. So, the plan for tonight is... First, we're going to continue on with the Bachelorette trip because we're having such a fucking blast. If you weren't here yesterday, what you missed was um, we continued on the trip. They went to this little museum. It was kind of like bleh. And then um, most significantly, uh, Cinderella asked Snowshit to be her sim of honor in her wedding. So that was like the most significant thing at the end of yesterday's live. Any hoodle, back to what we were doing yesterday the bachelorette party now we left off with them in the middle of some pond pool it's like a fancy fart pond out the amiskin royal baths yes that's where we were um but i do have some more plans for them i think it's nighttime in the game right now if i remember correctly um i do have some more plans for them so thank you stephanie thank you patel and in the morning, I'm making waffles. Is our alien still alive? I would hope so. I haven't uh, done anything in the game since last night, so. Like, I literally just loaded it. Well, I did do some, I did add some buildings, but other than that, I haven't, like, played, played. Um, where is our alien? Who has it? Um, was it Cinderella who has it? Oh, yeah, Cinderella has our alien. We haven't named it. I don't know what the hell to name this thing. It's a little terrifying, to be honest, but it looks squishy. Ooh, I shall call him Squishy, and he shall be mine. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't even name it. What the hell? You can literally just put it in your inventory. Weird. Mike Wazowski. I do like that name as well. Um, thank you, Felicity. Thank you, Lauren. So, yeah, they're at the... It's, 10 p.m. right now and they're at these now oh i didn't even see this over here wait that's so cute now what's kind of scary is they gotta make it back home in the dark uh prayers for y'all but yeah it's nighttime. let's get them back to the rental spot because we've got a full day ahead of them tomorrow in the game who's sitting on the edge talking hold on i just had a little buzz buzz on my phone hello my friend Lincoln said, did I leave my charger at your house plugged in behind the head of the table? Um, I'll have to respond to that later because I have no idea. Anyways, who's sitting over here? Do, do, do. That's that flirty waterfall. No, literally. Uh, oh, Sparkplug is talking to Farquifa. Well, that's interesting because Farquifa, okay, she's a little terrified right now. It says they're gossiping. I wonder about what? But it is interesting to see them sitting here talking to each other because we know that they kind of have a strained sister relationship. Which, oh my god, everyone was like against Farquifa for years. Could you imagine if it got flipped in reverse? Like, for example, if Shrekunzel found out what Sparkplug is hiding. Oh, that would be awful. That would be awful, darling! Um... This trip is for healing. Yes, healing. Mm -hmm. Farquifa does not look like she's having fun. Sparkplug does. Um, but that's fine. Everything's fine. They look amazing in their swimsuits, right? Right? I love both of their swimsuits. Oh, 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 sorry. I'm a little crazy with the handle. And then Shrekunzel's coming over here too, talking. I do love that. I do really love that. That the Now, girl, you do not need those sunglasses. It's not, um... It is not bright outside. Season three. Um, I can tell tell y'all this. Uh, Pixie Productions got back to me, and we are gonna be renewed for a season three. Now, obviously, we still have a lot of season two to go, but there will be a season three of the Shrekiverse confirmed. Um, she's blocking out the haters. Ogliana's sitting over here by herself. I feel like they're not doing a great job of including. Uh, Doris, are you okay back there? I don't think they're doing a great job of including. Ogliana, but at the same time, I don't know if Ogliana really cares to be included. Um, so thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, April. Uh, the hair looks good. Pink hair is for the girls, right? Uh, I love all of them. Okay, aw, snow shit sitting next to her. 
Snow shit is cool as fuck. And, like, I don't know if y'all remember the OG Shrek Lorette days, but, like, Snow shit has always been cool as fuck. Like, she's, you know, matured as she's gotten older, but there's never been a time that Snow shit wasn't cool. I can't even think of anything she's ever done, like, wrong, honestly. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. Like, she got pregnant from a hookup, but she didn't let that ruin her life. She moved on. Um, she's always been chill. Yeah, she's always been fucking chill with everybody. Um, now, Jack Sparrow, I think, fucked up when he let her go. And I think, honestly, that's why Jack Sparrow has never been with anybody else. Because... I think he knows that his baby mama was the one he should have been with, but he, uh, he didn't. She liked the Lorax. She was attracted to the Lorax. She, have y'all seen me reposting on TikTok all the, all the, uh, you're running out of blood, what's your type things? Every time I see a funny one, I repost all of them, and they're fucking hilarious, but they're so true at the same time. Uh, I do love Shrekunzel. Who's y'all's favorite Shrek Lorette sister? Now, this could include also Farquifa. So it would be Farquifa, Shrekunzel, Snowshit, or uh, Sparkplug. Thank you, Kendrick, for the hanging lights and the blooming ribbons. Thank you, Kit Sarah Reads. Um, Sparkplug, Sparkplug, Shrekunzel, Shrekunzel, Sparkplug, Farquifa. This is what I'm talking about. Nobody ever picks Snowshit as a favorite. Um, well, I did see one Snowshit. Okay, I've seen a couple Snowshits now. Farquifa, my queen. Farquifa should have been queen. She was robbed of being queen. Thank you, Tris. Why is Doris doing put sit-ups in the back? Probably standing next to fucking spark plug. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> She's probably like, let me just start doing some sit-ups right now. That's me as fuck whenever I'm at the beach next to my sister. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like you know what? Do they have a gym here? <laughs> Uh, where did you get all the cute swimwear? Some of it came with the game, like, um, Doris's. Some of it I got off of, like, Pinterest and, like, Sims Resource and stuff. Um, I love Shrekunzel in her Sam Maishuna apartment single mom era. That's probably about to be her again. If, what's happening over here? Don't tell me Granny's dying. I just realized Granny wasn't over there. I just re hold on, I'm scared to press play. The winged horde sets their sight on Granny. If only she was a bit more fit and had some plasma bait to distract them, but there's nothing she can do. Thank you, Sarah, for the crystal shoe. I love the crystal shoe. It's so cute every time. Granny, please don't die right now in the middle of our trip. Are you okay? She's not exactly okay, but she's got, she's okay. She just got bit once. Yeah, I don't think a bat bite. Oh, Farquifa came running for her. Farquifa's been paranoid about this trip. You know what? Let's go ahead and head back to the rental. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. They had fun swimming in the natural pool or whatever. Gave them swamp vibes. Let's go back um, to the rental. Granny's running. She's leading the way back. She's like, you know what? I done got bit by a fucking bat today. That's quite enough. And Farquifa's right behind. Look at her. I'm staring. I am staring. Let me get a sip of my drink. Um, she likes being bit too. <laughs> Are we surprised? Are we surprised at all that Grady likes being bit? Oh, now she's uncomfortable. She said, wait a minute, it's settling in. Farquiva needs to go on a three-day trip to the spa after this. Well, well, well. Guess what we're doing tomorrow in the game. Um, Doris is feeling real flirty. I bet she she's not running back. She said, I'll walk. She said, oh, I love this little bridge, too, even though it's kind of scary. Thank you, Becca. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you guys for the hand hearts. Oh, no, not Ogliana now. Now Ogliana's getting... Oh, I can't watch the spider go on her. That grossed me out the other day. Absolutely not. Thank you, Chrissy, for all the hand hearts. 80% of the live goal is completed. Hello? That was a Patreon notification. Molly said, I love Ogliana. Me too. I do love Ogliana. I think Ogliana is extremely underrated. Um, Doris, please don't piss yourself, girly. Oh, yeah, I need to go ahead and start making all their needs, like the sleeping one, the lowest. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that right now. Uh, duh, duh. I love that bridge, right? Thank you, Heather. I'm excited to hang out with you guys tonight. I usually don't do- ooh, I think I'm gonna burp. 
No, I'm not. My body deceives me. Anyways, um, I usually don't do streams on Saturday nights because now Doris is about to get tore up by something. Doris, are you okay, bitch? Okay, so she's fine. Okay, good. Um, but here I am tonight for a three hour long stream, and I think it's gonna be fucking fantastic. I might be a little a little crunk, a little crossed actually by the end of it, but all is fair in love and war. <laughs> thank you, Jenny, thank you, Amanda, thank you, Anastasia for the 54 heart puffs. Um did it make you click individually for every single one of those heart puffs? Like when you send a bunch like that, do you have to like click it a bunch of times? Or can you just like type in the number? Did you just start? Yes. Um, also, for those of you who weren't here when I said it before, tonight's stream is going to be a long one till 11 p.m. for me. So that's Eastern time. Because we're doing a longer stream, for a fun little game, I am going to be doing a giveaway. Um, at a random point in the stream, I will be picking out a um, comment that sticks out to me. Um, and doing a giveaway. So, it won't be like right at the end of the stream or right at the beginning, obviously. So just at a random point in the stream as an incentive to stay for the whole thing. But obviously if you can't, you can't. But it's just fun for the people who can't stay. Um, Snow Spirit is fading away. Rest in peace, Snow White. I'm here to help you, Abby. Yay! Wait, so we drinking, drinking? I mean, girl, I'm on the first claw of the evening. I'm drinking and bubbling personally but y'all do as you wish um like we need incentive it's just for fun it's just for fun you know just something fun um i'm so excited my husband is at work and my youngest is at the grandma's so i'm free to watch hell yeah i drink but i'm so sick oh Brittany, feel better thank you disney oh my god now it's already morning time oh liana can you get home faster how did you get caught up in the woods should have bought more Trulies. Literally, I went to the gas station down the road like an hour ago because I was like, wait a damn minute. I need I need some drink for tonight. I'm trying to um have an experience. Why does my ear feel weird? Look at how cute these earrings are. They were sent to my P.O. box by Jocelyn and they are just so cute. They're, they're Nightmare Before Christmas um, earrings. I don't know if y'all can actually see me right now. Can y'all see me? The ADHD is hitting. It's hitting me. Hold on, let me turn on the thing so I can see myself. I think y'all can see these. They're cute as fuck. Just trust me, okay? If you can't see it, then imagine. They're cute. Okay. Um, adorable. Oh, I love you. Oh, Jocelyn's watching right now, too. She has a whole, like, business where she sells stuff like this. And she sells crystals and stuff. So if you think they're cute as fuck and want to match with me, y'all should hit her up. Um, I don't know if she specifically sells these. But I do know she has a store, so. Anyways. Um, we're back home. Can y'all go to bed, ladies? Sleep for a couple hours before we start our day? Or do y'all just want to go and start your day? I mean, it's whatever y'all want to do. I was going to give you a breather for a second. We got nothing but time. Chaos girls trip. No, literally. But I think this girls trip has been so fun. And you know it's been fun whenever um, we're three episodes just on this girls trip. That's how you know it's fun as hell. Thank you, Nicole, for subscribing. Thank you, Jenny, for the gifts. Um. Also, does it bother you that my camera is not, like, up there? Because when I had it up there, I never wanted to turn my camera on because I felt like I just looked so far. But now that I have it, like, right here. um. And honestly, do y'all want to see what I have my stuff set up on? So I feel like everybody thinks in order to stream, you have to... So I guess y'all just want to start your day because y'all are not sleeping. Um, we just like seeing your face, bestie. You're good. Aww. So everybody thinks to stream you have to have some fancy ass setup. Do you want to see what my camera is sitting on? I'm gonna have to move it so y'all can see. Um, my camera. Hold on, I have to pull my thing so I can see what the fuck I'm even looking at. My camera is sitting on uh aquawar which is a book and a cord of silver flames right now and it's sitting in my where the hell have you been loca mug with stickers behind it to hold the whole thing up this is how i set up my camera 
There is no tripod. There is no... We don't have any fancy shit going on here. But I think it works. Um, Pixie... <laughs> that's what I have my... <laughs> Akatar is holding me up right now, literally. That just shows us you're a professional. <laughs> Why buy a tripod when a book works fine, right? Right? <laughs> Humble beginnings. When I started my page and first started recording Sims videos, I had, I used my MacBook, like my small like MacBook. I had, oh, Doris has been feeling cheerful lately. So I would literally take my phone and I still record videos like this for TikTok all the time, but I would take my phone and also my screen was fucked up on my old phone. Um, and I would record my screen on my MacBook of me playing Sims. And that's how I started my page on here. I didn't get a gaming PC until like a year into my page. So thank you, Core, for subscribing. Um, not Ogliana sleeping. Is she the one sleeping in a bush with her little green legs out? Okay, I guess none of y'all really need the rest because y'all are just turning up. Thank you, Kendra, for the blooming ribbons. Um, I'm going to put all of their needs good to go thank you court for the lover's glasses that's my first time seeing the lover's glasses gift thingy on there i think they're new for valentine's day i think ogliana's getting a little fed up of being around this family um to be honest which understandable they're kind of a lot at first look at spark plug in the background my girl my girl i'm sorry i fucking love spark plug like you know what? She is who she is. She does not give a fuck. Anyways, and what did her her thing say? Feeling close. Being around a sim that Sparkplug has shared good memories with or moments with can bring those feelings back. Aw, she is feeling herself. She's with her sisters. She's with her mother-in-law on vacation. Now, do I think she's being um, the best kind of like bridesmaid right now? Probably not. She's a little in her own world but you know what she's having fun she's having a good time shrekunzel's here um doris is just being doris she's had great vibes this entire time and then farquifa just said you know what it's been wonderful to spend time with you we've made some great memories and we'll make many more i'm sure of it farquifa is really trying to hang out with her sisters and vibe with them like she's really trying New family dynamic jokesters. Snow shit and Farquifa just can't stop cracking each other up. Oh my god, she's literally starting to get along with all of her sisters. She just had a moment with Shrekunzel. Now she's having a moment with Snow shit. And now you really just need to heal with Sparkplug, to be honest. But that's gonna be the roughest one. Because look at... You know what? It's not as bad as it was. They used to be all the way in the red. And now they're only a little bit in the red on their thing. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Tess. Um, this trip is so fun, right? Right? We're gonna have your wardrobe filled and your household decorated. Amanda sent me a fourth wing sweatshirt that I just wore for a full, like, over 24 hours. And I had to take it off for the stream because I was like, oh my god, they're gonna see me wearing the same thing two days in a row. Um, hey, Cinderella. Fatia P I don't know how to say this has asked me out on a date should i say yes not gaston calling us he's trying to let the stream know that he's dating after love island he is dating um so in case you were wondering he is going on dates do we think he should go on this date now i don't know who this bitch is um mm, girl we do not care about what you wear Gaston moved on quick, huh? Uh, he saw his previous lover bean to beaning on TV. So I think he's like, you know what? I need to move on. I need to move on. Um, Farquifa needs all this love. She needs to be protected at all costs. She's really trying right now. She's really trying to put herself out there with her sisters. Look at all three of them sitting on the couch like they're interviewing her. Um, yeah, go for it, Gaston. Go on your little date. So, literally, we've got her three sisters sitting on the couch. She's just trying to be a part of the group. She really is. Sparkplug is kind of the only one who still dislikes her a little bit. But it's not as bad as it was before. Because, like I said, now it's just a little bit in the red. It was a lot of it in the red. So, anyways. Um, thank you, Sarah, for subscribing. 
Um, let's go on ahead and start our day. So first things first, let's get, who's cooking breakfast this morning? Probably, let's let Doris and Granny do it. Um, cook together with, let's do Doris, Granny, and Cinderella, you're not doing it. Absolutely not. And I'm sure Snow Shit's gonna come in there and help too. Um, so let's, why is my shit freezing? Okay. Whoo, I got nervous. Um, thank you, Mermaid, for the confetti. Let's see. They can cook some, let's do some scrambled eggs with bacon. Sure. They're gonna cook together some stuff, and then we'll get, oh, they have a bar out here? How did I not see this whole time they have a bar? Okay, okay. Spark plug, why don't you come out here and tend the bar for everybody? I'm gonna make her a little less playful because I don't want her to freaking die. Um, it says, like old times from being near family, enjoying being near my family. Aww. Uh, Granny, get up. You gotta help cook, girl. Go ahead and get your butt up. Thank you. Um, Farquiva, why don't you come order a drink? Come order your favorite drink. Cinderella, you need a drink. It's your bachelorette trip. So why don't you come order your favorite drink? And then, Ogliana, you need a fucking drink too. I'm tired of looking at you looking like you're not having fun. Breakfast shots, right? You know Doris makes good food. I wish I could try Doris's food. But the girls are out here drinking. Spark plug's gonna make them all a little drinky drink. Sharkunzel, I don't know what she's doing, but I'm gonna let her do her thing. Um, Doris, Granny, and Snow Shit are in the kitchen cooking breakfast. I'm sorry, Snow Shit is so pretty to me. Like, she has no makeup on right now. She is so gorgeous to me. All of the girls are, but I'm just reminded of it sometimes with Snow Shit. Um, okay, they're kind of helping. They're really just watching, talking to Doris while she's doing the cooking. But you know what? That's fine. She was coughing. I mean, they're all always sick, I feel like, so... What's happening outside? Are y'all still doing good? Everybody getting their drinks? Um, oh, look at Cinderella with her little... Why is her favorite drink a plasma, Jane? You know, whatever. If that's what you want, that's what you want. Um, Farquipa, did you get a drink? She's cleaning stuff up right now. Okay, well, when you get back... Can I put... Did I just see a helicopter on a search rescue mission? I swear I just saw a helicopter. Thank you, Kendrick. Um, oh no, they're helping too. Okay, she's thinking about how she's feeling a little sick. I'm gonna get her to get an orange juice after she's done with that, just in case she is getting a little sick. Um, mm -mm -mm. where in the fuck sticks is my orange juice? They ain't got orange juice in El Salvador Dorado. Am I tripping or is there no orange juice right now? Girl, you might be shit out of luck. You might be shit out of luck right now. Orange juice, orange juice, orange juice, orange juice. Also, thank you guys who have been reading Celestial Shadows. And the first piece of fan art was made of Celestial Shadows. Thank you, Mermaid, for the coral. Um, which was just so cute and amazing. Um, so I love that you guys are loving reading it. If you like to read it and you haven't already, it's literally free to read. There's only four chapters out so far, but it's getting updated regularly. Um, and it's linked in my bio on TikTok. And if you're watching this on YouTube later, it's down below. Thank you, Tess. Thank you, Samantha, uh, Sarah, and Lauren. Um, did y'all... Thank you, Lauren, for subscribing. Okay, let's call everybody to the meal, shall we? Wait, somebody needs to set the table. Who's not busy right now? You know what, Shirkunzel, you ain't done shit. Come outside and set the table. Set the table. Let's do a party setting. No, let's do casual. Casual, yellow. Ooh, it's reminding me of Encanto. I love the movie Encanto. Actually, I have... Hold on, let me show you something I have in my office that was sent to me. Um, so this is like the same candle as they have in Encanto, right? And watch. You turn it on and it moves. Like, I'm not moving that. It's moving itself. The little, like, light. I look like I'm about to tell scary stories. Ooh. But isn't that so freaking cute? Um, adorable. And it's the same on the back, too. Adorable. I love Encanto. Okay, the table is set. So now, Sharkunzel put on some outdoorsy clothes. She said, I am ready to go hiking today. Well, bitch, we're not going hiking today. 
Thank you, Kendrick, for all the lovers' glasses, too. Um, let's go ahead and call everyone to the meal. Um, call to meal. Please and thank you. Love it. Okay, but that outfit slays, right? I would wear that outfit. Um, on today's adventure, they should put on adventure clothes. We're not going on an adventure today in... Oh, look at all of them dancing. Can y'all stop dancing and go get this food that Dora's made for y'all? Is this a... Oh, I love this mirror. This mirror must have came with the jungle pack. Because I've never seen that mirror before. Oh my god. The burp. Thinking of corn parts. Um, that's cute as shit. I'm going to be using that in my, um, in my builds from now on. Um, everybody's coming outside to eat their breakfast. There are a lot of mosquitoes, I have noticed. Now, Farquifa, that dress is not the vibes for today, but all right. Um, where's Miss Bride and Sparkplug? Uh, Cinderella's in here. I guess she didn't want to eat outside. Are you get? are you having anxiety, girl? Because there's still two more spots at the table. Where's Sparkplug? Oh, we had to get her to stop, uh, bartending. <laughs> Thank you, Lori, for the roses. Doris finished her food. I need everybody to eat your food so we can move on with our day. Granny's out here. She looks very Granny-ish today. You look gorgeous, Granny. Wow, look at you. Yes, look at you. She's tearing that shit up. Snow shit looks gorgeous today. Um, Ogliana looks ready for the day. She's just here. I guess Cinderella did come out here for a minute. Spark plug looks like spark plug for sure. Everybody's eating their food. Floral and pearl, right? Right? I just got home where I miss. We're still on the bachelorette trip that we've been on for two days. So we're enjoying our morning right now. Well, it's actually afternoon. Um, in the jungle escape world. It is so beautiful out here. Like, wow. The, you see the heat wave they're having right now? So freaking cute. Why is Granny stomping? I think she's just slouching. I think that's just how she walks. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Jenny. Doris is in here turning up. They're ready for the day. So, uh, you know Sparkplug and Shrekunzel are out here spilling tea. They're probably talking about everybody else on the trip right now. Be like, okay, so how are you feeling? Um, so, Snowshit is the one who planned this trip. And she could tell that everybody wasn't 100% feeling the hiking shit. So, she's like, let's take a break from that. And she planned some other stuff for today. So I dropped in some new lots into this world that were much needed. So first we're gonna go to the Selva Dorada Spa. Um, so excited to go to that. So let's go to the spa, ladies. Which, speaking of which, I did not have the spa day pack until an hour ago because I was like, I think I'm gonna have to buy a new pack for tonight's live because I think we need spa day. So, this is now the second pack I have bought for this bachelorette trip. So, Cinderella better feel special as fuck. Um, their bachelorette party is longer than that. Oh, the honeymoons combined. I'm sorry. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. Happy Saturday, Pixie. Happy Saturday to you. Um, thank you, Sarah, for the tiny dining. They definitely need a spa day. This is going to be my first time ever using spa day. So, I'm hoping that it's a good time. Batch party is so fun, right? Okay, here's a Selva Dorada spa. So it is my assumption that we are going to be able to, um, first of all, I'm going to make us not in a heat wave because it's about to stress me out. I can't have them overheating and dying or something. So let's just make it sunny outside and hopefully not a freaking heat wave. Um, and then I think they should be able to do like yoga and stuff here suppose oh my god they can get massages in here by the there's a massage okay cinderella you first cinderella it is your trip so you first um let's get a massage <gasps> aromatherapy oh my god get a lavender aromatherapy massage yes go do that okay you do that yes 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 and then what's going on over here Let's go ahead. Oh, they can change into a robe, change, change into a towel. Um, wow. Cute. Oh, they're all changing into robes because, oh, my Lanta, that's cute. That is cute. Do 
Dolores, come in here and get you. We need to hire another massage there. Oh, wait. There's this dude. <gasps> Doris is about to have this fine-ass man doing hers. Okay, come get a massage. Let's do... She's going to get that deep tissue massage um, and get Jonas Ward to do it. Cindy needs a robe. She's in a towel now, I think. Yeah, I think they changed her outfit because I don't think that's what she was wearing before. Um, it says, a brain-boosting yoga class is beginning in 30 minutes. Please find and notify the yoga instructor if you wish to participate. Okay, the rest of the girls are going to do yoga while Cinderella and Doris get their massages, I guess. So, Ogliana, oh my god, this is so exciting. This is all just so exciting. Um, is this the yoga instructor? That's the massage chair attendant. Oh, the yoga instructor's in here. <gasps> okay, we're gonna join the class. Um, Spark Plug's gonna join the class. Uh, Snow Shit's gonna join the class. And there's only four spots, so I guess then Farquifa will join the class. And we'll do a second round of classes with Doris and um, Granny and all them. Granny can go to the massage chair. Now, I don't know where the fuck the massage chair is. Oh, this. Okay. Oh, she can get a manicure or a pedicure? Okay, you go get a foot massage. Oh, this is the girl that Gaston was saying he's going to go on a date with. All right. Uh, Granny, go get your foot massage, girl. Is there a steam room? I do not even know. I have no they got baths in here. You can take a mud bath in here with soaks. Um wow, this is cute as fuck. This is cute as fuck. Thank you, Patu, thank you, Jenny, thank you, Hexy Beast. Um Wow, the makeup was a decision. <gasps> this is the steam room. You can relax in the nude. Oh my god. Sure, Kunzel, why don't you go in here and you relax uh in there wow this spa day is about to be the best ever oh and they have a bar in here that you can make a drink at um doris is going to oh i guess doris is done with her massage already or didn't get her massage i don't know but she's coming in here instead i guess she's this is what doris wants to do okay y'all look like you're enjoying look she needed this Oh my god, they needed this! And then Cinderella's in the background. Hold on, let me pause. Um, Cinderella's getting that aroma whatever massage. Oh. oh my god, they needed this. They needed this. Thank you, Lisa. Um, who's paying for all this? They got a fund. And you gotta remember, Spark Plug, or not Spark Plug, Snow Shit is rich, girl. Um... Who's our fourth one that's supposed to be in here? I guess it's about to be... Well, Granny's getting the foot thing. Snowshit's right here. Farquifa, you're supposed to be in here. Come join the class. Oh, she missed it. Okay, she didn't want to do the class, I guess. So, whatever. Anyways, let's watch them do their class. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're turning to the side. Sparkplug seems like such a yoga person. Now, I don't like how she's wearing her shoes. Uh, the other guy put his legs up and y'all didn't. Um, who's calling Sparkplug right now? Um, an acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. Try being a little nicer. Becoming disliked is a slippery slope. Alrighty, alrighty, interesting, um, I'm trying to watch from multiple angles of this, let's, I guess I'll do right here, maybe, right there, rude, but okay, right, okay, look at them doing their little yoga, honestly, Ogliana seems to be doing like, kind of like the best, in my opinion. In my opinion, like, Ogliana seems kind of like the most natural at it. But I don't know, maybe she's the most athletic out of the three of these ones right here. 
Doing their little yoga. Oh, don't fall, snow shit. God. Who dislikes Spark, right? The instructor is kind of cute. He kind of is. Don't fall. Like, look at how good Ugliana is at- Oh, Granny's walking around a little crazy. Uh-uh, Granny, you're not about to wolf out here. No, we are in our zen. We are in our zen. Simmer down, girl. She got her soulful rub on her foot. All right. Um, Let's get her to go get her massage now. Damn, they're still steaming up in here. And some lady is naked in there with them. Who's this getting a massage? Some other lady. Um, let's get her to come get a massage. Let's do a stone massage for, um, for Granny. Snowshoe is me. She's trying her best. I think they're all just trying their best. Now, why aren't you two doing anything? Are y'all good? Oh, here they come. Don't fall, Spark Plug! She's trying to- I could see her being a yogi. Like, I could see Spark Plug getting into yoga after this. She looks like she would do yoga. You gotta turn! Don't be embarrassed! Okay, go ahead, Ugliana. Go ahead, Ugliana. Do your thing. You're doing good. She's doing good. I think. Is anyone else lagging? Oh, no! I don't think he's, like, that attractive. I know you are saying he's hot. I don't know. The facial hair is throwing me off. Oh, I can do this yoga move. They all lay down. They're like, yes, we can do this. We can do this. This is fine. She has yoga mom vibes, right? I went out and back in to fix the lag. Okay, I'll try that. Try going out and back in to fix the lag. Um, that's my pose. I'm currently doing that uh, move. Um, Eugene is calling to chat. Eugene. Okay, but that's fucking annoying. Where is Shrekunzel? Um, where is she? She feels good right now. Thank you, unicorn farts. Cinderella came in there to relax with them. Farquifa needed the- Oh! I hate when a man- Oh, she is into it! Farquifa said yes. Not her literally having to answer the phone for Eugene while she's in the damn spa right now. Eugene, we still a little pissy with you, sir. I want her to divorce him. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I guess the girls just got done with yoga. They're all coming into the steam room. Um, who wants a massage next? Oh, I forgot Granny. Oh, look at Granny with her bonnet off! Okay, Granny! Can I see her face? If I just, like... I'm not gonna be able to get to see her face. There's no way I could get under there. Damn it. Um, acquiring the wellness skill... That's cool that they have a wellness skill that they can, um, they can build up. But look at Granny enjoying her little massage. I need that. Oh my god. It's like making my back tickle watching that. I want that. I want that right now. I wonder how many people get massages on Valentine's Day. I bet the massage places on Valentine's Day are about to be booked the fuck up. The last time I got a massage... I injured myself at work and then thought that I was going to die because I started having sciatica really bad going from my left ass cheek down to my foot. Uh, did you put on makeup, girl? Oh, no, it's gone. Um, And so I went to a chiropractor. That didn't help. And then I went and got a massage because I was like, I am about to cry for the rest of my life if I keep feeling like this. Um, A lot. My mom is a massage therapist and owns a spa. Yeah, I would have thought... I would have thought that they would all be booked up on Valentine's Day. Uh, Sharkunzel and Sparkplug are talking to each other once again. Um, let's get- wait, an energy yoga class beginning in 30 minutes. Okay, which one of you didn't do yoga before? Granny done took her glasses off? Oh my god, Granny, I don't think I've ever seen you like this. She's getting real zen in here. So, Granny, you need to go do your yoga. Um... And then Farquifa. Oh my gosh, she's feeling. She has a schmexual desire now after seeing that dude. Go join the energy class. Um, Cinderella, you too. Come join the energy centering class. And Doris, that would be you too. Go join the energy centering class. Um, Granny's getting dolled up. Granny got so relaxed, her curls came out. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, Sparkplug, it's your turn to come get a massage. So let's go get a massage. She's gonna get a Swedish massage from this lady. And who's calling Doris? Don't tell me someone's dead. Oh, no, no, no. Who's calling Shrekunzel? Hey, I heard you became friends with Farquifa Charming. She's pretty cool. <gasps> I wonder if Farquifa like texted Earwax or was talking to Shrek. I wonder if Shrek called and was like, how are you doing with your sisters? Wow, look at Earwax texting his sister. Be like, hmm. I forgot she married Prince Charming. Yeah, her last name is Farquifa Charming because she was married to Prince Charming. Um, and then she technically was married to Rumpelstiltskin for five seconds. Um, so she's getting her massage. Ogliana, oh, she's in pain, bent out of shape uh, from the yoga class. Well, why don't you, why is she annoyed? It says, cheered to death. Cheeriness can often be contagious, but sometimes it can also be painfully grating. She's fed up with these hoes. She is fed up, but let's come get your um, massage. Let's get her to do a sports massage. I don't know the difference, but whatever. Granny's like, I gotta pee. I can't do that damn class. Oh, she's trying to get another damn massage. Granny, you can't get another massage. Granny, it was Ogliana's turn. Granny, if you don't go do that fucking yoga class right now, like, I'm not playing with you, girl. I am not playing with you at all. Look at her missing the class right now. Oh my god. She missed the class. You can't join a yoga class after it started. Everybody, the only one who came up here was Cinderella to do the yoga class. Doris and them did not join her. Go ahead, Cinderella, do your thing. Doris, where are you? She is working out, though. Her and Snow Shit are in here doing a little workout. Okay, I'll give them that. Um, people can get their nails done, though. So, Farquifa, why don't you get a pedicure? Now, I don't know if it's going to let us pick the colors or anything, but... Granny says she only wants to do massages. Apparently, she's waiting her turn to get another massage. Sparkplug looks relaxed as fuck right now. And so do oh, you can't pick the pedicure color. Okay, Farquifa, I think would get. I kind of want to get yellow for happy, but also white. Like I love white toenails personally, or like a pink, um, green, pink. Mm. Farquifa wants her bean done, not her nails done. Also, thank you, Sarah and Chantel. Pink, pink. Um, white, always white, white, white. I'm gonna do white. Um. Farquifa, are you having fun, girl? Oh my god. Look at her! Getting comfortable in the chair. This lady's checking her phone. She's like, another day, another dollar. Enjoy yourself, Farquifa. Enjoy yourself. Oh, she said, as you should. As you fucking should. Okay, Cinderella. Over here doing well. Mm -mm -mm. She's texting Gaston. Yeah. Yeah, I love how multiple of y'all like she's uh she's texting Gaston. Enjoy yourself, girl. Um, what are y'all doing down here? Sharkunzel's doing push-ups. They're still enjoying their little thing. Granny's getting steamed up right now. Granny is not doing none of the exercise. Granny, you can come get your second fucking stone massage now. Get a massage. Go get your... Oh, she wanted a deep tissue one. Go get your massage. Oh, wait. Y'all need to wrap it up because it's almost 8 p.m. We got other shit to do. Actually, we're going to go ahead and go now. So, it's about 8 p.m., so they have other plans. As y'all know, Snow Shit is being real anal about making sure all these things get done. She's been planning all of this stuff for the trip. So she next got us reservations for dinner. Deep tissue in the thigh area. Mm. Does Ogliana feel better? She looked like she was feeling pretty good, but we'll see. So we're gonna go to the Selva Dorada restaurant. Um, she's the best party planner. I know Snow Guy Excel spreadsheet. Where's the scrippers? 
Uh, I love Saturday nights. Something about Saturday just feels so freeing, knowing that tomorrow's not Monday. Like, it just feels so perfect. I'm lost in the Shrekiverse. I need a visit from Lip. Okay, y'all are not doing this right now. Y'all, I am changing every single one of your outfits. Because y'all are not doing this right now. The only one that looks good are Ogliana and Sparkplug right now, but I'm still changing everybody's outfits. Um, Y'all know as I do. Has anybody started reading Fourth Wing because of um, me talking about it so much? And if so, do you love it? Don't spoil anything for anybody, but do you love it? Um, dress or change outfit. Do, do, do. Doris, I can't. Yeah, I don't know what's up with her showing up in this fucking Santa Claus outfit all the time. Mm, sure, console. I was trying to show my grandma today my lives on YouTube, and she had it pulled up on her TV, and she was like, what is a snow shit? And I was like, that's Snow White and Shrek's daughter. And she was like, okay. And then I was talking about Shrekunzel, and she was like, what's Shrekunzel? I was like, that's Shrek and Rapunzel's daughter. And then the more questions she started asking, the more ridiculous I realized that the Shrekiverse sounds. I was like, oh my god, this is actually so complicated to explain. Um, what's a snow shit? When I get done with Akatar series, I'm reading Fourth Wing, both because of you. I hope you're enjoying Akatar. Doris loves Santa too much. Change outfit. Okay, now that everybody's back in their outfits for the evening, let me fix her pottiness. Um, crazy lag, Twitch disturbed my poor napping kitty. Aww. I finished both fourth wing books right before you started. I love them. She feels bonita. Amazing. Um, so here's everybody's outfits for the evening. Snow shit looks good. Farquifa looks a little angry, right? Girl, where are your shoes? Okay, Farquifa showed up with no shoes. That sucks. Um, Cinderella is still in her same fit. Her her white bride fit. Granny's looking bonita. Granny with the gold. You're matching Farquifa. Y'all are matching. Um, uh, uh not Rapunzel here. Rapunzel, you cannot be here right now. You cannot be here right now. You know, whatever. Um, did I just see her last name different? I know it's Ogre. Uh, Shrekunzel looks like she's feeling single. Um, Ogliana looks good. She's looking like her normal going out self. And Sparkplug looks good. This is a very Sparkpluggy fit. Um, this is Granny's trip, really, with the Lorax fam. Yeah, that's weird. Anyways, let's go ahead. How the fuck? Oh, there's stairs over here. Okay, 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 let's go upstairs. I hope there's a table big enough for all of them. I actually don't know if there is. They might have to sit kind of separately. Um, yeah, it looks like they're going to be sitting separately at the restaurant but that's probably fine um let's go ahead and come sit up here can we request or request this table don't tell me this isn't actually a restaurant restaurant don't tell me it's not labeled as a freaking restaurant do not tell me that right i will change it immediately um let's see restaurant no it is labeled as a restaurant do we have everything yeah so where is the thing where we oh it's right here okay okay we gotta request a table let's come where is the staff at this fucking restaurant does nobody work here oh my god snow shit your plans are ruined your your uh your plans are ruined because i don't think anybody works at this bitch <gasps> uh-uh I see you lurking. I see you lurking in the fart pond. <laughs> Shrek, please. <laughs> 
Thank you, the other Ashley. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Lisa. Um, how did you even spot him? I saw the ears. I was up here and I saw from my in the corner of my little eye, I spied them little antenna ears. Thank you, Lord Morris. And I was like, uh uh, of course he's in the fart pond. You can't keep this man away from a fart pond or a princess, bro. You just can't. Oh my god. He's like, you don't see me. You do not see me right now. Oh my god, he's going in the- in the- They're all jumping into the fart pond. Fuck. They're all jumping into the fart pond. Great. Great. Excellent. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so since their dinner plans got ruined, um... Can we request a table now? No. Who the hell works here? Who in the fuck sticks works at this restaurant? This is goddamn ridiculous. We can't request a table, nothing. I know Snow is mad. It's in their DNA. They're literally all fart pond swimming right now. I cannot. Shrek thought I wasn't gonna see him either. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's me, sorry, called out watching Pixie. <laughs> and Grimace, st Grimace still hasn't showed up, that's surprising. Um, because is it classified as a restaurant and build one? Yeah, I just checked. It is. Um, I feel like Grimace knows that everybody's, like, hating on them because of how far up each other's asses they are. So now, um, he's like, I gotta, I gotta stay away. I hate that nobody's showing up to work at this restaurant. What in the fuck sticks? It's fine, I guess. It's fine. Um, ladies... I guess what we're gonna have to do, you can come order food over here. Let's come order some food over here, I suppose. They got all pretty for nothing. They got all pretty for absolutely nothing. And now they're about to all be in their bathing suits too after I just changed their outfits. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, everybody, come order some drinks. Hey, vendor. They're still having fun. Yeah, they're having the time of their lives on vacation and everybody said that they were gonna die but so far nobody's died they're having a great time in the jungle doris are you coming over here girly i think i just exited out of her coming over here <gasps> bitch no you fucking did not no, you fucking did not. Well, let's get some of this supplies, I suppose. Um, closing time. This is bullshit. Thank you, Megs, for the lover's glasses. What happened? I just had to lay my baby down. Um, they can't get dinner. Everywhere is closing. I guess we came too late in the evening for all of this stuff did somebody ever show up to work here or no great great we have this cute little restaurant for no darn reason and the vendor oh wait they're back open bitch you piss me off um okay for a second there doris was real horny but it's fine Let's go get some drinks, ladies. And... Okay, Farquifa's still feeling real flirty. I do not understand vendor timing. <laughs> I thought Doris be cooking for sure. Yeah, we were about to go back to the house for Doris to cook. But whatever. She's closing again. She said, I only make one drink at a time, actually. At least Doris got her drink. Granny said, what the hell? What the hell? How much longer do they have on their, their vacation? I think it ends in the morning for them. Also, but they're all just hanging out in the fart pond. I do love that. Shrek has disappeared. I guess Shrek was like, fuck, they, they're gonna see me. And he left. Because I don't see him now. But the girls are all swimming in the fart pond. And I kind of love that, though. It is so cute. Um... Oh, the second time. I love a nice swim. Before we end up switching to Hogwarts tonight, I still, I want to age up Shrekunzel's baby. Um, I kind of think, okay, Tasha, are you still in here? 
because if you are, I kind of want to do a poll about something um, that's been heavy on my mind, heavy on Shrekunzel's mind. Um, mm -mm -mm, yep. Let's do a poll. Should Shrekunzel and Eugene uh, kind of separate? Not an angry separate, but like a a on the same term separate. Now, not divorce, but just separate to see kind of how things go. Um, so we're going to do a poll to see. Because I feel like I'm torn, she's torn, everybody's torn. So, yeah. Conscious uncoupling. Yeah. Amicable break. Yeah. What did he do? Um, her whole entire pregnancy for her last baby treated her like shit. And wouldn't even be in the room with her during the birth because he was paranoid. Um, and, like, accused her of cheating on him to get pregnant. And he was wrong. <gasps> Dang, it's time for them to go home. So the vacation ended in a fart pond. That's actually so cute. OMG, I haven't watched it in months. What's happened? Uh, the family's grown. We're on season two. Um, but I invite you to hop back in because I think I think you can still push along, to be honest. I think you'll be okay. Um... Sorry, checking my Discord notifications and whatnot. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. I can't believe I'm still only on my first drink. The Sim Shorty said, hey y'all, hey. But they were on a break. She gets the tower. I kind of want her to get a new place if they do separate because she needs somewhere bigger with all these kids. Anyways, let's separate them back out so they're done with their vacation. Oh, that vacation was so fun though. I know it was kind of like scary, um, but drink every time Farquifa is scared. <laughs> I'm going to put them back in their actual homes with their families. Um, also, I'm going to, we're going to continue with the Shrekiverse for a little bit before I switch to Hogwarts Legacy. Um, and then if y'all weren't here earlier in the stream, I'm telling you about how this evening's going to go. So I'm streaming for another two hours is the plan if I make it that long. I think I will, though. Um, at some point during the live tonight, I'm going to be doing a giveaway based on a random comment. So kind of an incentive to stay for the rest of the two hours, but also just for funsies on a Saturday night. Thank you, Court. Thank you, Megs. Thank you, Marissa. The plan is we're playing the Shrekiverse um, for a little bit longer. Then we'll switch to Hogwarts Legacy. And then we'll switch back to Sims to do Breed Out the Pinocchio, if I have time to do all of that. But that's kind of like the plan for the evening. Where do the polls show up? They're in the top left corner, so they should be like up there somewhere, um, if that's the right pointing way on here. But like the top left corner of your screen, it's like a white and blue little checkbox, and you can click on that and you'll see the poll. I never comment, lol. It'll be random. I want them to survive. Yes, love it. So let me put everyone back to where they belong. Doris, go back home with your, your grown-ass son and Grim. You know she's so excited to get back to the Grim Reaper when she's been a little horny this whole time. Um, Comment on TikTok. Yeah, it'll be, like, in the chat. Um, I'll be picking a random comment in the live chat so at some point throughout the stream. Um... So, and then Oakleana goes back. I actually have Cinderella. I don't know if I have room for them at the swamp right now. I might have to put them in a different household for right a second. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven, eight. But then Farquifa. Farquifa, I'm going to have to put you somewhere else for just a minute. Um. <sighs> he needs to live with the squids. Dorian? That was the best bachelorette trip yet, right? It was a good one. Snowshit planned a good trip. Um, spark plug, go back home to your kids. So Ogliana and Farquifa, I'm gonna have to put in a different I'm gonna leave them in that house actually for right now and I'll figure them out later. Um and then you're going back home to your kids, which we are gonna age up Shrekunzel's baby here in a minute, baby Pascal. And we gotta put Snow Shit back with her kids. Her badass. Well, they're not bad, but 
do, do, do. Snow shit, go back home to Chestnut Ridge with your children and your husband. I know she misses her husband. Um, so great. Let's go to the Fitzherbert household in Glimmerbrook. We will not be um, worrying about Flynn so much today and his shit with Karma as we know that... Uh, of course, Shrekley's out at Pepper's Pub right now with his friends, and Flynn didn't go. Farquifa needs a happy time. I think the trip was good for Farquifa. I think she bonded with her sisters more than she has in years and years and years. Um, so I think... Uh, I think that Farquifa needed that trip. Karma is annoying, but love Flynn. I feel, uh, I love both of them in different ways, but I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings on Karma and Flynn. Look at him probably researching shit right this second. Why are they on opposite computers? What the hell? Um, it is, you know, sad that Flynn dislikes Karma so much now after they used to be so close. Like, look, what did the... What did the um, poll end up saying as the winner? But he's got Vidya up on his wall now instead of Karma. But I think he still has... He still has the pictures of him and Karma in his inventory. But he doesn't have them up on his wall anymore. They are separating. Separate. Sep <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Well, let's have a little happy birthday party first for Pascal. So let's go kiss the baby's forehead and let's age up the baby first. And then we'll talk about separating. She's back home. Flynn, why don't you go to your room, baby? Uh, Eugene, why don't you come in here? Shrekley apparently just got home. He's going straight to his bed. I'm excited to see baby Pascal. Shrekley's still her only green baby. Let's go ahead and age this baby up. Flynn, good night. He's coming in. <sighs> I just don't know. Is he sleeping on the couch? Oh, okay. The poll was right because he's literally trying to sleep on the couch right now as the baby's aging up. We got a paternity test, yo. There's no reason for you to keep- <gasps> It's a blonde haired baby! Aww! Okay. Let's, um, I am gonna make the baby a birthday cake really quick so we don't have the glitch where he falls on the floor all the time. Uh, we need to see the family tree. Okay, one second. Let's go make the baby a cake really quick so we don't end up with that weird glitch. The family tree is complicated. Feel free to screenshot. Um, so this is Shrek's family tree. But obviously it gets a little bit more complicated the more you click on other people. Um, and then... Who is the link? The link is Farquifa links over to the Farquad line. So Farquifa is kind of the line between the Shrek household and the Farquad household. Um, so Doris is all the way up here, and so Doris and Grimace, or Grim, are together. First she had Farkley with Lord Farquaad, which started the entire series, and then with her husband, the Grim Reaper, she has three children, Reaper, uh, Grimace, and Dorian, and then she has a lot of grandchildren. Um, Farkley has had four children, all different baby mamas over the years. Grimace obviously has a ton of kids. Reepa's daughter, Angel, um, did not make it during her pregnancy. Um, and then there's been a lot of children since then. Not everybody in the family tree is like a main character though. Um, so yeah, this is Farquette's line. Because Farquette is Farquifa's mama. And Farquette is the reason why Farquifa is cursed. Because Farquif or Farquette woohooed with Shrek, who was her grandmother's ex-husband. If that makes sense. Um, so yeah. 
for our Funkalist Needs an episode. <laughs> thank you, Leah. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Heather. Um, so we're making Baby Pascal a cake really quick. I can't believe Shirkunzel is just a straight-up boy mom. Oh, he's upset. Oh, shit. A baby is crying. Are you okay? Oh, he's kind of cute. I'm so excited to see you all aged up, Baby Pascal. Oh, don't cry. We're making you a birthday cake, and it's chocolate. Thank you, Julia. Snuggly Sleeper. Oh, that's so cute. Why not just like Granny at Eugene? Oh, I don't want Eugene to die, but I don't know if he's like... I don't know. I'm worried about him and Shrekunzel. And like now they're going to separate. He went to bed while she's still cooking this cake right now for the baby. And he hasn't even like hugged her or anything since she got home. Yeah, the divorce... Not the divorce, but the separation is for sure happening at this point because... Like, that's Farkley behavior, to be honest. That's how Farkley started treating her in their marriage. And it's, like, the same thing happening. Um, Eugene has turned out to be so unkind. I'm so mad at Eugene right now, though. When is Granny having her baby? When she gets Lord Farquaad pregnant. Um, let's help blow out the candles. Pascal. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. She has a type. Eugene and her were so good, though. For the longest time. They were so good. Um, let's see where I'm at in this competition that we've been working on. Mm -mm -mm. I was in sixth earlier when I checked. Uh, I forgot you made it to where he could get pregnant. <laughs> yeah, hopefully Lord Farquaad gets pregnant soon. It won't load the results right now okay, okay here it goes here it goes um oh pascal is about to age up one second i'm looking at the thing i'm still in six but i'm not super super far behind the person in fifth so that's good anyways do, do, do. did i just oh i thought i ended the live Woo! okay pascal is aged up where's he at Little blonde haired baby it says snow shit sent him a gift. Uh mochi sent him a gift and earwax sent him a gift. Svetlana, slipper shits. Um okay, let's bring him into create a sim so we can see him. Well, I don't know if I want to age him up all the way. Well, obviously he's not gonna stay aged up all the way. I might look at him to see kind of like how he's looking. Um thank you, Stephanie, thank you, Heather. Uh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Peggy, for all the lovers' glasses. Thank you, guys. We're reaching the goal. Again, the second goal of the night has been met. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Jenny. Pascal's gonna be her favorite. The littlest one. Nothing better than Pixarella, Pretzels the Ranch, and Franks in The Sims. Aww! That was poetic as shit. Ah, I love that. Let's see baby Pascal. He's cute as fuck. Look at them lashes on him, too. Something tells me he's about to look more like Eugene than Shrekunzel. I just want a Pixies. So I'm going to age him up all the way and then age him back down. This is an idea of what he'll look like when he gets older. But a lot of times as they naturally age up, they change a little bit. So this prediction of how he's going to look when he gets older isn't the exact thing. But it's pretty close, okay? Um, here we go. Hell yeah, brother. Let me see, let me see your face. Honestly, he looks like a good mix of Shrekunzel and Eugene. Um, yeah, I think he's adorable. I'm excited for whenever he's grown up in the Shrekiverse. I think he'll fucking vibe, like... Okay, we see you. Howdy. With a makeover, he'll be cute. Yeah. Yeah. This will be fine. Anyways, let's age him back down. Do, do, do. He did not get the the crazy Flynn eyes. Because we know Flynn has these, like, wild-ass looking eyes. I still don't know why Flynn got silver eyes. I'm not mad about it, but he's ready to break hearts. He's such a cute baby. So freaking cute. Um, I'm gonna change his shirt just because I hate that shirt. 
on babies. Um, let's do a styled look. I guess I'm gonna leave him as like a toddler for now and worry about, ew, not the beige, mo no, hold on. Let me put him in. I don't know what the fuck to put this baby in. I'm, I'm checking out the options. This looks like baby clothes, kind of. I just like when babies are in like baby looking clothes. There we go. That looks cute. That looks cute. And yeah, you're perfect. So adorable. And now Eugene, you're about to be upset. Oh, I do. Oh my God. We're about to go through Eugene being a single dad phase. Ugh. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, he needed different hair. Um, he's gonna fit in great with Grimace's family business when he gets older! <sighs> Who moves out? I think nobody's gonna move out tonight, but I think Shrekunzel's gonna start looking for somewhere to move to. Um, just because this place is too small anyways for all of the kids. Uh, why are you ladies here? Y'all were not supposed to come with us. Anyways, let's, um, wait, is he a, is this a baby spellcaster? It says weak bloodline. Um, the Sims parents had no bloodline traits. I think he's a spellcaster. Oh my God. Does this baby have magic? I think this is a, a magic baby. I think we have a magic baby. Hello, poof. Um, it's a good thing. Okay, Shrekunzel, please come in here and wake his ass up and tell him. Okay, Shrekly also. Get out. Go play with your brother, Shrekly, because we've got to do things. Go give him a bath. Sure. Shrekunzel, you come in here and wake his ass up. You come home from vacation. He don't even give you a hug. Nothing. No. No. She said, wake up. Wake up. <sighs> Take the key back. <laughs> Not him walking right by her. Uh-uh. 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 No. 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 Yeah, you better walk your ass back in here. She said, give me the key. She said, give me the key. Perfect. And next, um, don't apologize. Don't joke about a funny family. Don't, girl, don't go back on it now. Don't go back on it now. You need to go ahead and... Uh-uh. Not after how he treated us. Um, and you need to tell him that he is the dad of our baby. Woohoo, here. No. No. None of this. None of this. I don't think I have the mod right now where they can, like, just separate. And I don't want them to get a straight up, oh, wait, makeup and breakup. We are gonna separate amicably for now. Um, the options are the love is dead, loving another... Life crisis, ghost of a partner, cheater, woohoo life wear, a mistake, different gender orientation. Um, for her, um, it feels like Shrekunzel's partner is too distant. Shrekunzel is ready for a real relationship with someone more attentive and loving. Or this love is dead. One of those. Ghost of a partner. Wait, that's permanent. No, 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 no. When it says permanently, like, they can get back together. But they're going to be separated for now. Um, what does it say? Okay. Uh, love is dead. Yeah, let's do the love is dead. Uh, wait. Ghost of a partner. Ghost of a partner. Wait, I think I see more of those. I think I see more ghost of a partner. Okay, we'll do ghost of a partner. Um, because he has. He has been a ghost of a partner. Not the, the schmondoms on the thing right there. What are you talking about the water bill for? And now she's having to bring up her job? Oh, this might go deeper than I realized. He's talking about his job? 
Hold on. Hold on. What was he up to while she was gone for real? That's what I'm saying, Chelsea. Short, sad story. Box of condoms unused. Flynn listening in the back. As if he already doesn't have enough trauma, Flynn is back here like, great. Fucking great. It's like, not only am I a vampire now, um, now my parents are probably getting divorced. So, great. He came out with, or she came out with a quid corp. <laughs> I thought we were drinking and stuff. We got tea. Um, oh no, there comes a separation here in a minute. They're having a deep conversation first. They're probably talking about all the good times. Uh, apparently Pascal has a good appetite, though. That's good to know. That is good to know. How long have you been live? Almost an hour and a half now. Flynn thinks it's his fault. Oh, no. <gasps> He's talking about he doesn't like us. Oh, and not him crying after he was just thinking about how he doesn't even like it. Oh my god, now he's acting out. She feels confident after that. Oh my god, she feels really confident after that. He also feels confident, but he says it was an aggravating conversation and it says how frustrating. Being in inarticulate and factually incorrect has or being inarticulate and factually incorrect has never been more infuriating. Argument loser. So he just lost the argument with Shrikunzel. Um, He's a little aggravated, but he also feels confident. Um, and then it's, he's a little tense. He says, Eugene's partner thinks he is too distant of a partner and wants someone more attentive and loving. Eugene is not sure what to think of that. Damn. Damn. I do hope that maybe eventually they'll be able to work it out. Or I hope that she finds someone that treats her the way Eugene did in the beginning. Because just because he treated her good 20 years ago doesn't mean that she needs to stay with him when he's not being like that now. Not Shrekly taking a shit in the background. Um, thought you'd win a Shrekler rep fight. It's not me, it's you. Yeah. Like Mohawk Doctor. Oh my god, could you imagine... If someone in the family was engaged to Mohawk Doctor, bro, bro, why is her skin green? Um, well, she's an ogre, so her skin is green because of that. Um, she's not even the only green one in the family. First of all, her oldest son is green as fuck, like a lime. Um, free delivery? She was born that way. Um, no bad things happen to his wives. That's true. That is true. Um, it's kind of heartbreaking, but it had to be done right, right. Um, I'm gonna save here, and then I'm gonna switch over to, who do I wanna switch over to next? This is so fun, playing on Saturday night. It feels freeing, in a way. In a way, you know. Thank you, Kayla, thank you, Jenny. We shipped her a Mohawk doctor when Pascal was born. True. I'll have to start looking for somewhere else to live for Shrapunzel. Um, da, da, da. Happy to be here, right? Read out the Chucky. Um, I wanted more Shrekiverse. Love this on a Saturday. I love the lives where you're going to be slightly impulsive. Ooh, soon I do need to switch to Hogwarts Legacy because we had to finish the Forbidden Forest. And if you've never been here for a Hogwarts Legacy live, don't worry. It really doesn't fucking matter. I don't understand storyline either, but I'm just trying to survive. Um, I kind of want to switch to- Oh, look at him holding Pascal! Damn. Um, I kind of want to switch to Jack Sparrow, actually. And- and um, I kind of want y'all to watch the Black Pearl for me for a minute while I go pee, if that's cool with y'all. Um, where does he live? I think over here. I'm gonna miss Hogwarts. I understand. He's so spoiled this week. <laughs> Eugene said, look, I'll hold it, bitch. Girl. <laughs> Who 
boats, Pixie does a shot. I don't have any shots, but I am drinking White Claw, um, which is why I have to pee. And I'll probably be getting another one when I get up. I love the Black Pearl. I'm wearing a Black Pearl shirt as we speak right now. If you want your own Black Pearl shirt, they're, um, they're on my, my merch site. Um, this shirt is the most sold shirt on my merch site, too. Do, do, do. It's 4.30 in the morning here. Damn. Okay, change of plans. We're going to Snow Shit's house. Uh, not Snow Shit. Sparkplug's house, because there's a lot going on over there. Or whose house do y'all want to watch while I go pee and possibly put a waffle in the toaster? No, I don't need a waffle yet. Maybe later. Maybe, actually... If I, sometimes I have to use a bubble blower in order, um, in order to eat, which is probably a bad habit, but I do want a waffle, so we'll see. Spark plug, um, shit lit, spark plug. I'm making waffles, that's what I'm saying. I want the pink sweatshirt, spark, relatable, <laughs> relatable, gotta go grocery shopping. Um, or we could go to the swamp. The swamp is also an option, so I get that. <laughs> Reba, Spark, have some bubbles, girl. I love the smell, too. You know how some people don't like the smell of bubbles, and then some people love it? I don't know if it's how I grew up or what, but I love the smell of bubbles. Swamp, swamp, swamp. Okay, I thought y'all would say the swamp. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Can we just talk about the fact that I'm about to be crossed on Hogwarts Legacy trying to beat this quest? Oh lord. Oh lord. I didn't until about nine months in. I don't bubble blow, but I like the smell of bubbles. Okay, okay. Do you like natural bubbles? I do. Okay, I prefer natural bubbles and i'm only using this right now because we're streaming i don't love this because i know it's not good for you um like your lungs and whatever but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do uh ooh, puss in boots he is so fine he kind of almost reminds me of a white lucian <laughs> uh lucian my bad um if you don't know what i'm talking about it's akatar anyways um, also, don't say any spoilers for anybody, but if you've read the third Akatar book, and the, the tea on Lucian, that had me gasping, girl. That had me absolutely gasping. Um, calling it Bubbles as he dead. <laughs> I have to read them yet. Him and Barbie. Granny said, I'm so glad to be taking a shit at the swamp again. Okay, y'all babysit the swamp. If anybody dies, let me know. I will be right back in a second. If new people come into... Can we get Farkley pregnant? Not Farkley, but we can get Lord Farquaad pregnant. Remind me when I come back that we're going to get Lord Farquaad pregnant before we switch to Hogwarts Legacy. So I'll be right back. Y'all babysit. Um, okay, BRB. Oh my god, everybody stay. Woo. 
Um, did everybody survive me leaving? Knocked up. Yeah, we're getting people knocked up here in a second. Uh um, I got another Dre. Which, yummy. Delicious. Uh, oh, somebody just ordered a shirt! <laughs> I guarantee it was probably a Black Pearl t-shirt, too. Let's see, who ordered a shirt? Chantel! Thank you, Chantel, for ordering a shirt and donating $3. I appreciate you, girl. Can't wait to be 20 with you. Um, let's see what this says. What's the beverage of choice? This evening, it's the Natural Lime White Claw. It tastes like... Like, if you were drinking sparkling water and then you smelled lime go past your face. Um, uh, I forgot about little slipper shits. They're probably all asking, like, how'd the trip go? What are, what are you doing? What the hell was that that she had in her hand? Lord Farquaad, I don't want you to be scared right now, but I'm ready to get you pregnant. Which means I have to move some people out. Um, I can't wait for the far, far away from your wife shirts. I know, I'm gonna have to make some of those. Thank you, Kayla, for all the hand hearts. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. Thank you, Crystal, Cynthia, Jenny. Um, when is our wedding? Uh, Shrek and Cinderella's next week. Um, so who am I moving out right now? Let me see. Manage Worlds. Donkey in boots to a bachelor's pad. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Maybe on TikTok, like, just, like, the shorter videos, like, the few minute long videos, I should do a mini series just based on Donkey and Puss in Boots. Maybe. Let's, um, make a girl house with Sharkonzel. I am gonna have to find her a new house. Okay, let me move these two out for now. Um, as well as, you know what, Earwax? Earwax, it's time for you to get the fuck out of the swamp. Goodbye. Good day, sir. Um, I'll give y'all $20. That should be good. She's a pink mansion. Um, boots and Shrekunzel. Could you imagine if Shrekunzel was woohooing with a younger dude that fights guys in the bar and stuff? First of all, you know Puss in Boots. Like, this man was a cat before and having to lick his whole body clean. You know that he gives... Okay. I'm not gonna get graphic, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like, you know. You... Anyways. Um... Let's try to get Lord Farquaad and Granny pregnant. Let's try. Teehee. Thank you, Court, for the stars. He's good at feasting. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> better than Lou. Now, Lou's got that dog in him, and I saw it on the Patreon. If you're not on Patreon in the lowest tier, you should be. I mean, obviously, the higher tiers are cool, too. But you can get a lot of content on the lowest tier to include some uncensored videos I put in there. And there's a video of Lou and Merida uncensored on there. And Lou has got that dog in him. My god. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you, Unicorn Parts, for the game controller. Yeah, that Patreon was wild. That was, like, my favorite one, I think. Um, so can we try for... I need you to wake up, and I need, I need you and Lord Farquaad to both come in here. Because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to make this happen, but we're going to try to make it happen. Are you still ranking... Let me see. Uh, uh, um, so my gaming ranking, I am 48k diamonds away from the top 100. So no, I am not ranking right now in the gaming rankings for the week. But for the competition I'm in, I'm in, let me check. Last time I checked, which was like 30 minutes ago, I was in 6. I'm still in 6. I'm not super far behind the person in fifth, though. So I have help there. Um, you're streaming late. Yeah, I still have another, like, hour and some change that I'm streaming, too. Oh, she wants to be romantic with Farquaad. She wants to compliment his appearance. 
Why can we only woohoo? Why does it say they're not romantic anymore? Hold on, let me fix that because they should be romantic. Hold on. I don't know why their relationship cleared out. Sex, active, romantic, sweethearts. Yeah, why was I going to let them woohoo, but it said that they didn't have... There they go. Try for baby with Lord Farquaad. I'm so excited. Is the door locked? Oh, unlocked. Yeah, it was. Thank you. He's over granny shit. Thank you for parts of the confetti. Um, mine is doing that too. I hate whenever... Oh, don't piss yourself, bro. Let me fix that for you. I do what I can. Shrek, you can come back home. He's still waiting. He's still lurking in that fart pond. He said he had to make sure his girl was having a good trip. He was just watching from the fart ponds. Um, they're going. They're going. My Sims kids don't know her. Yeah, I don't know why the relationships mess up. Oh my god, there is such a couple. Him in his white robe. Her and her granny clothes. Hold on. I need a photo of you kids. Don't mind me. He about to have a litter. I hope it's only one baby. My god. The last time she had kids, it was twins. They both deserve this. I feel like I'm watching something I'm not supposed to right now. Bow chicka bow wow. Does this need to be a Patreon? Oh god. I don't think this one should be on Patreon to be honest. Thank you, mermaid, for all the confettis. Granny and the Moo Moo. I don't own a Moo Moo, but sometimes I consider getting one. I always sleep in t-shirts like this. I'll sleep in just like a t-shirt and some underwear, and that's it. I don't like having a bra on. I don't like having any pants on. So maybe I would like a Moo Moo. Maybe I should get a Moo Moo. I don't know. How many kids does Farquaad have? If I'm not mistaken, he only has Farkly. Um, hold on, that's not Lord Farquaad. I'm pretty sure, yeah, his only child, the only person he ever had a baby with was, um, Doris. Way back in the day. He's never had any other things. He did talk to Clara a little bit and woohooed with her, but he never had any kids with her. Um, so Granny's the first woman in years and years and years that he's had a real relationship with. He said he's pleasantly satisfied. Um, time to take a pregnancy test, Lord Farquaad. He was waiting for Granny. I think he was pining after her this whole time. He was dipping. Uh, my hubby just started watching with me. I'm trying to catch him up. Okay, Kiki's hubby. Let me tell you something right now. So this whole challenge started. Well, it's not. It's a story now. It's really a whole legacy. So first of all, it started with. Let me pause before we get the results. It started. Actually, I think the results are negative. He's not pregnant. Well, guess what? You got to fuck her again. So once upon a time. Pixarella was bored and she was like, what would happen if we tried to breed out the Farquaad? Because look at him. You look at his face and you're like, wow, those are some goddamn genes right there. So I tried breeding out the Farquaad and it created this whole family line of fucking weirdos that I just immediately fell in love with. And so did the rest of the internet. So now we have continued on their legacy. And are there a shit ton of characters that you'll never 100% understand the lore on unless you watch all the episodes? Yes. Do you have to understand every single little piece of lore to watch this? No. Just know that it's a huge family. Um, some of them have magic. Some of them don't. Granny's a werewolf. Lord Farquaad's a shithead. Like, there's a bunch of different things. Just know it all started at this swamp. And this is the tie that holds everything together. Love you, Pixie. Love you, girl. Um, could she be the one that's pregnant? No, Granny can't get pregnant. Even when she had kids before, she wasn't the one that was pregnant. Um, they're gonna try again now. It's all part of the swamp. Yeah. They stopped being polite and got real. <laughs> if you turn this into a DVD box set, I'd buy it all. How does one even do that? Also, thank you, It's Me, for the rose. Thank you, Sarah, for the roses. Thank you, Mermaid, for the heart puff. Um, love letter. Slipper shit is grabbing her lunch from her backpack when she notices something red inside. It's a note shaped like a heart. With the words, you are cute, written on it and nothing else. She thinks it might be the new boy who also seems to stare. Should she ask him or wait and see? Girl, play hard to get. Wait and see. 
It says, Slipper Shit decides to wait it out and see if anyone comes forward. Sure enough, at lunch, some friends laugh and wave to her. Hey, cutie, one taunt. Slipper Shit wads up the note and tosses at them, laughing along with the joke. Someday it'll happen for real, but she's relieved it's not today. Kids are such fucking little shits. Thank you, Britter Snitter. Thank you, Miss Meow. Thank you, Tedu, Lauren, and Lisa. Um, yeah, I don't know why kids are fucking like that, but whatever. Um, oh my god. Every time my phone dings, it freaks me the hell out. Let's come take a pregnancy test. You have 24 hours to pay your bills before your power is shut off. Shrek, can you pay your fucking bills, bro? Okay, let me stop cussing like that. It's fucking embarrassing. Um, you can get a lifestyle coach? Wow. Pay bills. Insufficient funds. Oh, we need more money. Just a little bit more money for them. So they can pay their utility bill. Um, pay your bills. You got half of my office watching on YouTube now. Oh, hey, office fam. <laughs> He's pregnant. Ding dong, the Farquad's pregnant. I am so excited for this. I am so inconvenient. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um, inconvenient from out of relationship pregnancy. Lord Farquaad didn't woohoo with his official partner recently. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Why does it say he's romantic with Ogliana? That is not right. That is literally not right. Let me delete that. Um. Um. Whatever, I'll delete that later. But, wait, is he technically with Clara? Lord cheated on Clara. Girlfriend. Well, this is a problem. This is a problem. No, 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 no. That is not right. Oop, we forgot about Clara. So first of all, I want to know the gender just so I can be prepared. Um, what are you having? A girl? A girl baby granny? A girl baby Farquaad? Okay. So I think we need to go, first of all, second trimester, please, just so it's obvious. Um... I think what we need to do is we just need to go over to Clara's house. Where does this bitch live? Where does she live? She lives in Oasis Springs. Okay. Let's go over to her house and just, we gotta set this straight. We've got to set this straight. Okay. Um, Clara was smarter a long time ago. Somehow the bitch lives. I don't know how, why, what, or where she finds the way to survive around me, but she does. Thank you, Felicity. Thank you, Whitney. Um, so we're just gonna have to... Like, is he paying some of her bills or something? Like, here's the Bajergson house. They have two horses over here. Interesting. I wonder how they're taking care of these horses in the damn desert with a backyard. I hate that it says him and Ogliana are ro romantic, because that is not right. Um... Granny, you want to come with us, girl? No, let's leave Granny out of this for right this second. We'll go by ourselves first. Baby Wolfly. Franny for a baby name. Little baby Franny Quad. Didn't Granny offer to? Yes, Granny smurdered her inside of Shrekunzel's house. But somehow she lives on. I don't know. I don't know. Wolfussy. Franny. Look at this little hat on this horse. Wow. Lovely. Okay, Lord Farquaad, we gotta knock on the door. Oh, my allergies are messing with me. Not Lord Farquaad pregnant as hell right now. My Clara's done changed. Oh my god, the horse in the house. Um, can we... Can we... 
Can we... I don't even know where to go with this. I don't even... <gasps> Farquad! Oh my god. Why is this baby with a do-rag walking around the house? Whose baby are you? Who are your parents, Dana? Bajorn? Okay, this was the last Bajorn baby, I guess. Um... Propose? No, 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 no. We gotta tell her. We gotta... We've got to... We've got to do something. We've got to do something. Um... Drama... No, no, no. Mean... Criticize woohoo techniques. Oh my god. Okay. Do you pay for the packs? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, pregnancy, woohoo live. No, 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 no. Here's what we need to do we need to tell her that we don't want to be with her. We just need to break up with her because obviously, for obvious reasons, we got to break up with her. Far Wolfie, not him sitting down for it. <laughs> She's upset. Girl, we can't pay for all these kids. He's super turned on looking at her though. Damn. Oh, she's upset. She is upset right now. It says she's bitter about the breakup. Clara can't quite shake some resentment towards Lord about how their romantic relationship ended. Damn, but he finds her extremely attractive. Damn. Damn. Um, but him and Granny have amazing compatibility. Um, people person, outdoorsy, they're lovers, woohoo partners, they're having a child together. Like, Granny is the one for up. The horses in the house are really just getting me right now, especially this one with the little hat. Like, damn, we are home wrecking tonight. Mmm, interesting. Who died? Uh, that's Bajorn's damn grave right here. Can we have it? Oh, we can. Yay, we have Bajorn's urn. Amazing. Baby's under the horse's feet. It'll be okay. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to do the forbidden forest quest. And then if we have time at the end of the stream, I might come back and have Lord Farquaad's baby. Um, but we'll see because I have an hour left to stream and we still have to do a giveaway during this stream. So, um, so yeah. Why oh, are you still in Bajoran's tombstone? I wanted it. I wanted it. Uh, he's rolling in his grave right now. So let's exit out of this. So y'all can see me while I load up. Um, ew. It's fine. While I load up The Sims. Also, I'm going to do the giveaway right in a second. So everybody comment. Your favorite thing about the Shrekiverse, and I'm about to pick someone that I'm going to be um, sending uh, something Sims related to after the stream. When can we get a Reaper live? We were just on a heavy Reaper phase here recently with the Karma stuff. Thank you, Meg. Thank you, Jenny. Is this a new live? I did have to restart the live because the last one lagged out, but um, we're about to have a Farquad baby. All the mixture of baby screen wolf, you pixie, oh, storylines. Sorry, I'm not reading them out loud. I'm trying to like read all of these super fast. Um, all of these are such great things. You pixie, oh, y'all are hearing me cry. The laughs, it's so hard to pick one thing. I love how mysterious Shrek, and now that he's a grandpa, it is funny seeing him as a grandpa. Farquaad, go home. The happiness it brings me, the creativity brings us Shrek averse, the names, the spa retreat. That was fun. Definitely you. Aw, all of these are so good. 
that we collectively all hate uh Farkley drinking episodes. Yeah. Redemption stories. I think Kate, that's like one of my favorite things. Um two. Oh wait, I just missed one that I was trying to read. Fuck. For sure, Abby. Aww. Understand anything. Um, the drama but love. I am going to be messaging. Okay, I just followed her. Okay. I just followed Aria. I am going to be messaging Aria after this live to see, um, so I can message her what I'm sending her. I am going to be sending her a Sims pack through Amazon, um, just because it's easier to do the links through there because I can send you a, a code. That's how I've done all of my giveaways. Um, as you guys know, I've done many, many giveaways for Sims packs and I'll continue to do more giveaways. And yeah, let's have a far quad um baby now which is so exciting my second gift <laughs> for the evening a far quad baby if you will um yay aria congratulations all right far quad this will only hurt for just one minute right so first of all he's obviously about to have a baby in a birthing pool also seeing the evolution of you and now uh being able to do this full time Aw, Selena, that's also one of my favorite things. Like, I literally, when I started my TikTok, it was because while I get his birthing area set up, y'all are about to hear some lore. So, when I started, this actually might make me cry. Um, when I started my TikTok page on playing Sims, it was because I just went through one of those phases. So, I was working EMS at the time as an EMT. And I was going through one of those phases where I thought people were my friends that were not. And when you're, when you realize that you are at, like, you're the person that your friend group is talking shit about for whatever reason, um, even if they were talking bad about each other too, but you realize that people are saying things to make fun of you and you were like the joke, I don't know. And these are people you're hanging out with every day. That can be like a very lonely feeling, okay? So, um, yeah, I had a really upsetting friend falling out. And the most upsetting part was, is I found out, you know, how they actually were and whatever. And I never, like, argued with them. Like, I never got in a big fight with anybody. But I would go home, because I worked night shift on the ambulance at the time. I would go home and in the morning get home and every single morning i would turn on the movie in kanto because i had such bad anxiety from working ems in a really busy county um so i'd have to turn on a kid's movie usually in kanto or how to train your dragon every single morning i would turn that on and i would like lay in bed and just like stare at the movie until i could finally fall asleep and it would take me a really long time so i was like sleep deprived and i was starting to feel super lonely because i found out that like my friends weren't really my friends and I started to not want to hang out with anybody because I had this like thought in my head that like I was an inconvenience to people and um but what I did start doing more often than I was doing before was playing look at him pregnant lol um I started playing sims again because I had played it a lot as a teenager and before I got super into ems and I was playing on my laptop and I was watching other people's videos of them playing Sims. And I was like, I'm just going to make a TikTok of me talking to myself playing Sims. Because I just think it would be fun to be able to rewatch these later. Because I, because of my ADHD, I would always forget what would happen in my Sims game. So I wanted to take videos of myself doing it so I could go back and watch it. And um, my first video on TikTok was a Breed Out the Weird series. And it was like a few different parts. And my first ever Breed Out the Weird series got hundreds of thousands of views, which I was not expecting. Um, and that's how I started my TikTok page on here two years ago. So yeah, that's also one of my favorite parts about the Shrekiverse and just my Sim stories in general is watching me go from being on night shift super depressed and anxious all the time. And I used to not show my face on here either for a really long time. Um, to now living my best life and I'm the happiest um, I've ever been. And I've been able to help other people make friends and 
the whole community now on Discord and everything is just so fun. So thank you, Anna Banana. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Jenny. We love you, Pixie. I love you guys. Um, I really love you. Don't ever change. Aw, y'all are so sweet. Like, literally, I am glad. Aw, thank you for the Galaxy Mermaid. Um, I'm glad that my... I, obviously, I love my male followers, too. Like, people like Kendrick and whatnot. Um, but I am glad I have a mostly female following because it has been like the most wholesome thing watching all of us become like sisters in here and especially the discord and everything and finding out about each other's lives and um literally every single night if somebody's having like something that they need to talk about kind of like a therapy sesh there's always people in there talking through it doing research with them and everything and it's just so it's so fun and amazing thank you jenny thank you angela thank you unicorn farts um, and I'm crying. Oh, I'm not trying to make anybody cry, but that's just, like, that one comment, like, reminded me, like, that is one of my favorite things, too. Damn, I need to join the Discord. You should. It's literally, like, a sisterhood in the Discord. It's so fun. And don't, like, join the Discord Discord and be like, oh, people are already talking in here. They're already tight. Like, I'm not gonna fit in. Just start messaging in there, and I swear to God, you will fit in just fine, and you will make friends in there, and nobody's gonna think it's weird that you're just now joining the Discord. Like, People, new people join every single day and then just get right in there. So, um, y'all make my night every night. Wait, I can vent in the Discord? Yeah, we have a whole trigger warning chat, too, if you need to vent about things that might upset other people. And everyone's super nice in there. Let's put Lord Farquaad in labor. <laughs> He's got to start walking around all fucking uncomfortable, but he'll be okay. Um, you give us as much as we do for you. You're absolutely amazing and loved and truly special. Aw, thank you, Morgan. Y'all make the community fun, truly, truly. I see some very toxic uh, communities here on TikTok and whatnot, and I am glad to say that we are not those people. Um, can we have Mohawk Dodger deliver this baby? I don't think he'll come for a home birth, unfortunately. He only does the hospital births. I don't know who's about to help us deliver this baby, but we need to call the hospital. Uh, uh, I need, what's happening? Oh, Cinderella's fine. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're all the weird outcasts who found each other, so we're all kind. Yeah, literally everybody in the Discord is so nice and funny. And people, there's different sections of the Discord. It's kind of like a big group chat, but there's different sections. So there's like a show off your skills sections where people talk about like the projects they're working on. There's the trigger warning one where people vent and ask for advice and everything um the Shrekiverse ones people talk about lore there's a million different ones people put recipes in there people talk about a lot of stuff that doesn't have to do with me and it's it's just super fun it's just like a friend group in there where you make friends look at him look at his belly look uh at this belly abby at 100k likes do a shot i don't have a shot to do but i do have i am drinking i can do a i can do a hit <laughs> but i can't do a shot I just recently joined and haven't, still haven't explored the other threads. You should. There's a ton of threads in there, and they're all super fun. Um, let's call the OB. Tell him we're going to do a home birth. Lord Farquaad pregnant is not something I thought I would see in this lifetime, but here we are. You honestly helped me heal my inner child so much. That's so nice. Let's get Pixie to 100k. What am I at now? 90,000 likes damn that's a lot of tapping y'all it says many parents contemplate home birth because they want to avoid the high-tech atmosphere and medical interventions of a hospital others prefer the freedom and ability to spend labor with loved ones if you choose to give birth at home you may call your midwives once you go into labor midwives we've only ever gotten one they uh will arrive at your home and assist you until your baby is delivered make sure to purchase a birth pool if you're going for a water birth or a pillow or a birth pillow if you're going for a bed birth we're going for the water birth we're going to choose this option we're clearing 100k easy <laughs> let me 101k let me take my my hit um he needs to start walking. Wait, let me call the... Also, thank you guys for 100k likes. I know y'all's fingers probably hurt, and I appreciate you, because 
that's a lot of tapping. So hopefully we gain some new viewers from that. Um, and I hope that they're enjoying, even though I just kind of like, I kind of just dropped a lot of pixie lore on people. Um, usually we're just talking about Sims lore. So if somebody came in, in the middle of that, they're probably like, what the hell is the significance of this girl? That was a story that's been two years in the in the making. Um, thank you, Unicorn Fart Saint and Banana. Thank you, Court. Thank you, Dang Ibuprofen. I love your username. Thank you, Britter Snitter, Lauren. Um, uh, we love Pixie Lore. Honestly, all I do on this app is cry, so I'll fit in just fine. <laughs> or it'll fit in just fine. Every day is a blessing to watch you. Thanks, Cameron. Um, I need- did he already call the midwife? Sorry, I'm a little- wait, who's calling Cinderella? You won't believe it. Fatia Pawa is such a sweetheart. I'm in love. I'm really glad. Just so you know, her hands smell like Granny's feet, but it's fine. Um, um, he wants to take a nap. You're in labor. Take a nap, girl. Do what you gotta do. Actually, can I take your photo real quick? Look at Lord Farquaad's birth puddle. LOL. Um, you've inspired me to try reading a new genre of books, so I'll be forever grateful. British dinner, I love you, girl. And I love your partner in a non-romantic way um, for 3D printing me a, uh, a, um, 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 oh my god, my brain is clearing out. Not hiccup, fucking like toothless. Jesus, I can't believe I can't think of toothless's name off the top of my head. Um, yeah, he, toothless is on my bookshelf now. I love him. Um, thank you, Court, thank you, Mads. It's gonna be a girl, right? Yes, it is a girl. Look at that muscle, right? Thank you, Wolfman's brother. Um, that is something I never thought I would hear you say. <laughs> I know, it's because of the, in the drink, my brain is like clearing out right now. Did we call the midwife? I don't think we did. Did we start our home birth? I do think we did that. Yeah, we started the home birth. We need to call the midwife. There we go, call the midwife. What are we naming her? Girl, I don't know. Where's Bajorn's urn? Oh, I took it. What is this? He also stole a beach towel. We can put it... Wait, hold on. Bajorn, we broke up with your wife after we woohooed her, and then we stole your urn, and now it's going to be next to our fart pond. Mm -mm -mm. Should I make a poll? Uh, I gotta see what the options are, but sure. Once we have some good baby name options, sure. I know Franny is one of them. Ha ha ha. F U Bajorn. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Beautiful. Um, oh, we're sparkling. You're doing so good, Farquad. You look so good in your swim panties, too. Girdle? You wanted to say Bajoran, too. Hell yeah. Thank you, Cora. Thank you, Book Dragon Lady. Thank you, Lioness. Um, Granny's chilling. She's like, I'm not popping out that baby. Slipper shoes is home. Wait, someone asked about the alien. Our alien. Here's Lilith's urn. Our alien can go next to our papers and our peels wait no the, it can't go up here fuck i guess it's gonna have to live on the table for right now until we have a better spot for it i like how it has a little hamster water bottle it's so cute with his little eyeball bar queen that's funny gonna have enough for a whole cemetery we out here collecting urns <laughs> far fetched that's funny that is so funny. Gotta find Snow White. I don't know where Snow White's urn is. I have yet to find it, but I'm glad we finally found Bajorns. That only took months to find. Um, our midwife is here. Can you check our butthole dilation by chance? Don't worry, Farquad. It's not that bad getting your asshole checked out. It's just a little intimate and a little weird. Mm. Backdoor quad if it comes out of signing. <laughs> quadriceps i wonder where i'm at in this competition let me check mm. granny's feeling active okay i want claire to show up that's a rare sentence 
Okay. Shrek and Granny are straight chilling outside. Meanwhile, Farquaad's getting his butthole checked on dilation. What are we at? Give me something good. We're at two centimeters dilated. Farquaad, you better start walking, baby. Where am I at in the... Fanny Farquussy. Whoops, didn't mean to send that. Girl, I didn't even see what you sent. Now I want to know. Thank you, Court, for the gamer cat. It will not load up the results for me right now. Thank you, Court, for both gamer cats. Pixie, this is why I got called into the office at work the other day. Wait, Pixie, this is why I got called into office at work when I had playing the other day. Oh, no, now you get in trouble over my lives. Is the right side of the bed assigned to Shrek Lee? Apparently. He don't even live here no more, though. Um, we do need a birthing ball in here, too. Mm -mm -mm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Birthing, wait, birth, wait, yoga, yes, yoga ball. Bounce, 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 bounce that baby out. Boo, do, do, butt balloon, <laughs> butt balloon. Baby butt balloon. Okay, let's come um, exercise on it. Granny, what's she doing? She's out here, fart pond swimming still. I don't know where Shrek went, but I also kind of just don't care. Oh, he's walking inside. I love it. Clara Quad. Are you okay, Granny? Oh, yeah, she's just having a, a moment. She's shaking herself off. Baby Piddles the Quad. My husband keeps stickering while listening. <laughs> Mr. Farts. We love Mr. Farts. Mr. Farts, I loved your outfit in the picture from the one day a while back. Thank you, Bella and Louise, for giving away a sub. Thank you so much. We are 20 away from 500 subs. My goal... So it's kind of hard getting a big sub goal like 500. I've never hit 500 before because... The days, you know, like, some people, they have it for a month. So, like, tomorrow, a certain amount of people's, like, month will be up and whatever. My goal is by summertime to eventually hit the 500 subscriber mark. But, like I said, it fluctuates over the days. So, it's kind of hard to keep, like, a specific sub goal. But, um, 480 is crazy considering what- Look at Lord Farquaad! Look at Lord Farquaad! Ew, I can see his little- his coochie. Ew! I don't like how he's trying to put his coochie in my face right now. Thank you, Unicorn Farts, for giving away five subs. Oh, now we're in a subway. I don't understand the subway shit. But, uh, change your camera angle. Like, on my, like, uh, my face. Or, you talking about his camera angle. Abby, <laughs> Quaruchi. <laughs> I think you were talking about his. Um, no, so we're not looking at him. Yeah, he's clean in the bathtub now. I think he's um, I think he's um nesting right now. It's fine. Can you bounce on the ball again? We want to have this baby. Is it like a hype train? I think. I think maybe it is. A coochie. Grand farts. Princess Wolf. Oh, I do like Princess Wolf. That sounds so mystical. Lord. All these names are so good. Mommy. Mm -mm -mm. Bring it around town. Slipper Shoots is here for her first uh, swamp birth. Very excited for her. Mm -mm -mm. I love whoever suggested Maxima for Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> Lord's Quad. Um, Granny, you can't go to work as a criminal in an hour. Your baby is being born today, so why don't you go ahead and call off of work? Yeah, let's, um... Let's take a let's take family leave, shall we? I'm gonna fix her needs too, and fix Lord Farquaad's again. 
Um, Miss Midwife Lady, can you perhaps check my dilation again, maybe? Shrek's out. Oh my god. Shrek found some food in the trash can. It still seems edible-ish. Bro. Squomp. <laughs> Lord. Lordy lord. Thank you, Book Dragon Lady. Thank you, Ann Banana, for the rose. He- Not the bunk bed for checking his butt dilation. Not more oatmeal. Oh my god, it is at a hundred, almost 160k likes. That's crazy. Wait, did he already get checked? You're at five centimeters? Um... Lord Farquaad, I need you to, like, really exercise on this thing. Like, I'm gonna start speeding this up so you can hurry the hell up. Because I feel myself on that line right now of, like... I'm about to start slurring or some shit. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not. But, we'll see. Lord Farquaad is just bouncing. Barney, Wolfiana, um, Wolf Balls, bro, Mangina, mm -mm. oh, he has a potty really bad, how are you, oh my god, it's 11.02 p.m., you know, it'd be funny if it was, like, storming really bad, like, the night that the Shrecklerettes were born, can I, I think that would be really funny, Okay. Um, uh, mangina is perfect. <laughs> Y'all do not do this girl like that. Name me her mangina. Uh, okay. Keep exercising on this, please. Please and thank you. This lady's gonna get electrocuted out here like the one that delivered snow shit in them. My ADHD brain can't handle all these options. I can't even see the options, to be honest. About to be Lightning McQuad. Uh, not Book Dragon Lace hitting the lightnings. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I want to know what place I'm in for this competition. I wish the fucking thing would- Oh, there it loads. Hmm. So I am at 233,000 experience points. The person in fifth is at fifth is at 260,000 experience points. But I'm about to get 20,000 points once I hit my 10 hours of streaming for the week, which means by the time I end this live, I'll get 20,000 points, which means I'll only be 10,000 behind him. So that's not very much. I might get to fifth tonight. Did that just hit the fucking house? I swear lightning just hit the house, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. Also, I think our fridge is broken. Um, we gotta repair that. Wolfina Quad. Schmurderina! I like that one. I like Schmurderina. Do likes help in this competition? I think follows... Any type of gift, subscriptions. Let me check what all it says, actually. So, it ends on March 3rd. So, we have quite a few days left in this competition. Um, so, the amount of... So, as long as I stream for 10 hours a week, that gets me points, which I will be at 10 hours for the week by the end of this. Um, and then... Um, yeah, it's any type of gift, likes, follows, stuff like that. So I, or subscriptions, follows, yeah. Swampley. Thank you, Shanna. Thank you, Drew. Thank you, Life of the Chonky. <laughs> I like that name. That's funny. Thank you, Kika, for giving away three subs. Oh, and it says the sub wave was achieved. Thank you, Courtney, for giving away a sub. I'm gonna stop hitting this pen because I just realized I've been hitting it steadily for several minutes now and I need to stop. Um, Farquaad, are you the one fixing the fridge in labor? I like it. 
Thank you, Hannah, for the 60 lightning bolts. Thank you, Valen, Louise. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, Y'all, oh my god. I don't know if any of you saw, but I posted a video because I was sent... There was this girl named Bex. She sent me a tea set because of Beryl's story on TikTok. And um, so now me and Beryl have matching tea sets and i've never had a teapot before but i had a tea party drunk as shit last night and it was amazing i felt like such a little girl having a tea party and now i would recommend everybody gets a um tea set like a teapot because the amount of serotonin it brought me was unreal franny snugs when it's up no one forget to scroll down to vote yes don't forget to scroll down to vote um, thank you, Life of Chonky, for subscribing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anna Banana, for the heartbeat. Thank you, Kelmro, for the um, lightning bolt. Thank you, Kayla and Casey. Um, Granny's doing sit-ups. Thank you, Emmy, for the it's a match. Thank you so much. Oh, not the stripes. Not the stripes, and you're showing me your coochie right now. Ew. Thank you, Court, for the corgi, and Becca for the lightning bolts. Ew. Ew. I'm ready for him to have this baby. Damn. This little girly pop. Oh, wait. We can have the baby now. Okay, Tasha, if you're in here, start the poll. Um, also, make sure when the poll... I think I already said this, and Aria already said this, but I'm gonna say it again. Um, Tasha needs help. Did she text me? I have my phone on Do Not Disturb. Schmurderina. Definitely put Schmurderina on the list. I'm excited. Hold on, let me pause this before he has a baby. Um, so that we can, uh, see. Struck by light. Who got struck by lightning? Who got struck by lightning? Oh, damn, bitch. Well, you should have been standing out in the middle of the goddamn swamp. We're trying to pick a baby's name. You're out here getting fucking electrocuted, bitch. Anyways. Baby is coming. Max Quiva, 200k likes. Oh, I think you guys are 200k likes. That is crazy. Thank you, Anastasia, Asia, Casey, um, Lexi. Thank you, guys. Bonnet Quad. Do we have... Do we have the name list yet? Let me check. Let me just go on TikTok really quick and check if the poll is up. Is the poll up or no? Um, thank you, Court, for the gamer cat. Let me check. Let me see on my phone. No, 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 no poll. I trust Tasha's options she puts on there, to be honest. Um, 10 subs away from 500. I'm telling you, even if it fluctuates tomorrow, I think we'll hit 500 by summertime. And I'm super excited. Uh, thank you, Book Dragon Lady. Thank you, Jenny. Brandy, 100%. Okay, I have my phone pulled up watching the live, too, for whenever the poll goes up so I can vote, too. Let's go ahead and start this labor and process. Granny, get out here with your electrocuted ass and be here for this baby being born your first ever daughter both of their first daughters so cute so cute i really like murderina or schmurderina i think that is so cute but granny you gotta join not her wanting to do a paternity test girl please granny said she's not standing out in the rain for this Okay, whatever. Farquad, you're on your own. Thank you, Hannah, for the lightning bolts. Thank you, Asia. Thank you, Court. Uh, you got this, Farquad. You got this. He's uncomfortable as shit. It's reminding me of the night that the Shreklerettes were born, and I love that. I really like the name Schmurderino. Thank you, Bullfans, brother. Shrek got electrocuted, too. He'll be alright. He's swamp bred. Look, it's coming out his ass. Look, I'm watching the baby come out the butt. Why didn't we get to name it? 
Who's goddamn? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all are picking that too. Why haven't why hasn't it asked me to name the baby though? I'm scared that we don't get to keep it. Because it hasn't given us the baby in the household yet. And why is Shrek mad? Feeling hot headed. He's scared of thunderstorms. Whatever. Do we get to keep this baby? It's just a little electrocuted. It's censored. Show the baby. Um, well, hopefully we'll see it here in a second. I'm worried it's not gonna be put as Oh, here we go. It's looking like the name. Okay, I'm glad y'all are feeling the same way I was. I really like the name Maxine. Franny came in second, which is super cute. Um, but it looks like we are naming the baby Schmurderina, which I think is so perfect. Um, given it's Granny's baby, Schmurderina. Wait, that's not how you'd spell it. Hold on. S. S is for snakes who, okay, let me calm down. Schmurderina, 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 Schmurder, okay. Schmurderina quad. Yes! Yes! Girl, you're faded. <laughs> Schmurderina, you were born with 214k likes. That's pretty iconic for the Shrek Averse. Oh, okay. That is a Caucasian baby if I have ever seen one. Girl, you came out a little darker skinned than that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was concerned that there might have been. A scandal involved. But you're here, nevertheless. Now it's time to age you up all the way to an adult. Um, Farquaad, don't die of playfulness. Let's move the baby inside. I will do that. I will do that. We'll move the baby inside. Um, baby right there. We'll delete that. We'll delete that. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Book Dragon Lady. Um, werewolf for, for a birth? Perhaps. Uh, Granny, it's now your turn to do shit with the baby. I need you to come age it up. And then somebody any Cinderella, can you wake up and make this baby a cake, please? Um, cook. Because I don't want it to have, like, the... The issue where it falls through the floor. Um. Blair... Who in the far fuck is Blair? Blair is not your fucking name. You will not get rid of the name Schmurderina. You will not get rid of the name Schmurderina. Your name is not fucking Blair. Mm-mm. Thank you, Linus. Uh. Your name is Schmurderina. Is she a blonde baby? Wait, is a Farquad baby blonde? Two blonde babies in one night? Oh my god, she looks just like Granny. She looks just like Granny, but with Farquad's nose. Oh my Lanta. Oh my Lanta. 
gray hair. Wait, is this gray hair and not blonde? Do you have granny's gray hair? She said, let me take my Blair baby over here. Okay, granny is mothering. Look at granny mothering. Sorry, your mama smells a little toasty. She got electrocuted on the way outside. <gasps> the baby's sleeping on her? Granny! Silver hair like a Targaryen. Oh my goodness! That's a clone. She did want a baby. Aww! Oh my goodness. Okay, where's the cake? <gasps> Cinderella, you fucking bitch, you- Oh my god. Now I have to make another goddamn cake, because she took a bite out of it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm aging this baby all the way up. If she's gonna be glitchy, then she's gonna be glitchy. Whatever, you'll just have to fall through the floor like the rest of your family. Blair Wolf Project. We can't age up on her. I feel like we need to. I think she'll be just fine aging up just like the rest of her family has. Here is baby, not Blair. I already had a hard enough time typing this the first time. Schmerderina. There we go. Schmerderina. Your last name is Quad, not Farquad. This child is already giving me problems if she just got here. Okay. Um, Cindy gives me Trisha Paytas. <sighs> if you edit age through MC Command Center, they say it doesn't glitch. Well, I'll have to go back and do that later. <gasps> I didn't do the create a sim thing. Hold on, go back out. Go back out. Apparently, Schmurderina is a disallowed name. Interesting. I couldn't type that out every time. Maybe Rena. Nickname will not be Blair. She's stubborn like her mama. Brandy number two. Um, what, what if we add another? I mean, I can still do it. I just can't upload her to the gallery with that name, which is fine. Um, where is baby Schmurderina at? Oh no, she's scared because of the storm. Don't worry, girl. Let's go ahead and I'm going to change her name like this. and Or not her name. Her age like this, since y'all said this will work. Oh, shit. She's about to have four birthdays right here. Four birthdays. Um. Um. Are you going to age up or not? She hasn't aged up a single darn time. Hello? Hello? Okay, I'm just gonna do it in Create a Simp. Mm, create a Simp. Sure. Create a Simp dot full... Wait. Create a Simp dot full edit mode cool perfect let's go ahead and go in to create a sim she wants to be a baby weird always works for me well never mind it's all right we all tried we all tried let's see her all grown up one two three She's perfect. She's absolutely fucking perfect. I mean, amazing. Perfect and amazing. This is exactly what I could have hoped she'd look like. A perfect combination of Granny and Farquaad. Is that a cape? I think it's a wedding veil. Um, uh, no capes! I am going to, for right now, leave her as an infant for Granny to get to have her little baby girl um, for now, but I'm not going to let her do her whole childhood. We'll age her up to a young adult soon, but for now, we'll let Granny have her little baby that she wanted. Um, so cute! 
so freaking cute. I'm gonna see where we're ending off on this competition. <gasps> Guess what? I am no longer in sixth. I am now in fifth place. I passed the guy um, that was in sixth place. He's also streaming right now, so he might end up passing me tonight. But we have like 20 days to keep, or 20 something days to keep pushing towards the top. Uh, woo, congratulations. Thank you guys. Literally all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much. Um, there was a lot that happened in this episode today. Like we went from the bachelorette trip to all the way to here. So that was, um, that was quite the, uh, the journey we just went on. So we will be discussing in the discord per usual. I'll be messaging Aria after I get off so I can send her something. And then, um, thank you guys who have been reading Celestial Shadows on Wattpad. If you haven't already read it, you should, cause it's free to read and I wrote it. So you should read it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this longer stream tonight. Three hours, bro. I'm about to like, go make some waffles and shit at this point anyways i appreciate you guys watching for all three hours those of you who made the entire time um i'll see y'all in the discord after this to discuss the episode and i won't be streaming tomorrow but i will see you monday night for love island so yeah i love you and schmurderina loves you good night